Oh, look, Latrell's back here again with another I got the insert product name here video. Woohoo! Yay, I'm so excited. But do y'all remember when I did a video on that Asus EEE PC back a few years ago? I know, great naming, right? More of my longtime subscribers will know about that video, but I got another netbook here and it's by my brother, and I want to go and show y'all that. Alright, so if y'all know, y'all know. I got a brother named Kenny, and he sends me, like, a decent amount of free stuff, too. And I showed it off on the channel, and I'll talk about him all the time on this channel. Like, when he sent me this free Nexus 6P, I talked about that. So now I'm talking about him again, because he sent me this Ace to Aspire one in the mail for free. And I think he paid, like, 30 bucks to get it, and then he just gave it to me for free. So... Yeah, good brother. Basically, he just hit me up one day on Hangouts. He was like, hey, um, do you want this free laptop? I don't really know what it is, but I could just send it out to you for free and no charge or whatever. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? He was like, it ain't nothing special, but you know, you can do some YouTube videos on it, you know, mess around with it, whatever you want to do with it. Just a, like a mess around laptop, I guess. So now here we are. And he actually sent this to me, like, I want to say like six months ago or something like that before all this coronavirus stuff started. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely. It definitely took me a while to finally do this video and pretty much he just told me that his friend actually just got a new laptop or whatever so I was like oh okay cool and apparently she was using this for college or something like what um I, I, what can I say like round of applause I guess I don't know how you did that but man you you're a trooper for that because yeah this thing definitely isn't new by any standards but i still really appreciate him for sending this out to me because yeah i can't mess around with it or whatever doing some youtube videos like i'm doing right now right now as you can see here there's actually windows 10 on here it came with windows 7 but actually put windows 10 on there and uh yeah definitely not designed for windows 10 i'll just tell y'all that right now but yeah like i said this thing ain't really new by any standards like if you look at the screen right now it looks like it's flicking but it's not actually flickering in real life it's just flickering on the camera so uh uh yeah uh yikes anyways yeah so i mean let me go and show you some of the ports on here okay and just how thick this is and this was a netbook you know they was making these things small and slim and everything like that was the whole goal of netbooks but i mean you can see right here we have an ethernet port oh yeah man go crazy we got the dc in here we have a couple of usb 2.0 ports or 1.0 ports i'm not exactly sure what that is we have two separate plugs here so one is actually to go ahead and plug in a microphone and wants to plug in some headphones so uh yeah, that's how they used to do it. I remember with my Dell Esprit 1501, my first laptop, that's how I was. And actually on my desktop that I use, like right now, it's the same way. So yeah, it wasn't before like how it was just a duo thing here. No, you had to plug in one separate for the microphone and one separate for the headphones. Otherwise, yeah, it just wasn't gonna work if you plugged in headphones into the microphone one. And I mean, like take a look right here. So this was my first laptop and I think this actually kickstarted my YouTube channel and probably renovate too. But yeah, you can see it's the same way on there so you can see right there i got the one for the headphones and then i got the one for the microphone you can see right there by the logos on them and the dvd drive just fell out okay then i think i might restore this like a hugh jeffries restoration video so if you want to see a video on me restoring my first ever laptop let me know in the comments below i would definitely have a lot of work to do but i want to see how that will work out i mean like look at the screen right there you can see it's obviously broken there but yeah anyways enough talking about that so i think i might go ahead and put windows 7 on here again because i did put windows 10 on there and plan not keeping it on there but i don't really know why i have enough windows 10 pcs here i think i might put windows 7 on here in the case that i might need windows 7 because some application i need to use isn't really working right on windows 10 Odin, you still give me issues on Windows 10? I don't get that. Or maybe even Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, Windows Vista even. Like, we'll see. Because I don't know why, I just have a weird thing with like playing with older Windows versions like Windows Vista and all that. I think like Windows Vista has to be, okay, and I'm gonna sound crazy when I say this, but I think it was probably one of my favorite versions of Windows ever. Yeah, I know, like, Latrell, stop talking. You don't even know what you're talking about. I think it was just the UI and everything and how they had the Windows Dream scene and everything and, you know, how it started up. It had that 
Windows Vista logo that showed before it started Windows. I don't know. I just liked Windows Vista. I didn't really have the performance issues and everything like everybody else talked about. But yeah, anyways, like if we look in the front here, we still have some more things here. So let me go ahead and open that up. Obviously, it's not a one hand opening laptop. I don't think they really focused on that back then. But I can see all my status lights here, like my battery, my Bluetooth, and then the Wi Fi. Do you see that Wi Fi icon there? Man, you got the tiny little trackpad. And then as you can see right here, that's why I'm saying. I don't think this thing was designed for even Windows Vista maybe because I'm pretty sure this is a Windows XP logo right here. I mean Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows XP, they all had the same logo pretty much. But at the end of the day, this just looks more familiar to Windows XP. I'm not really sure what this came with, but I think it was XP. And uh, I think this thing just froze again. So uh, yeah, that's cool. Like if you look at this, the system's glitching out right now. You can see here I have my hard disk drive activity. I have a number lock icon and then I have my cap a lot power button and then if i go over here on the right side i have a full size sd card slot i have another usb port and then i have a vga port yeah did you expect that because i didn't and then it just has this weird hump at the back here where the battery is and that's just you see the feet there too though right so that's just to pretty much extend the laptop i don't know it's just weird and i know this isn't really worth it okay but i think i might go ahead and upgrade the ram on this thing because it desperately needs a ram upgrade and definitely a hard drive upgrade because i mean you could just see it right there even though the cpu is pretty bad too I think those two might be the worst, so I'm not really sure. I gotta look into the specs on this thing some more, but that's the plans I have for it so far. But yeah, besides that, let me know. What should I do with this thing in the comments below? This might be fun. And when I had that ASUS EEE PC, by the way, I just wanna point something out. I think I used that as my main laptop for a while. Um, I don't know why I pointed that out, but I thought that was interesting. Imagine me using this as my main laptop in 2020. Now, obviously he didn't get this for me to replace my Galaxy Book Flex or my Galaxy Book S. I don't even think I had any of those at the time when I got this. I had that 2019 Notebook 9 Pro by Samsung, so obviously I was good on a laptop, but he just figured that he'd just throw this my way and then see how I like it, play with it, whatever I want to do with it, hand it to my niece if I want to. So I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I don't want to keep talking and making this video longer than it should be. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and get this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Sentech on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is where I'm most active. But yeah, cool stuff not only did i get the laptop but obviously i got the charger with it and i got this hot pink pouch so that's dope but yeah time for me to get out of here y'all so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out